How do you create and sell professional Lightroom presets as digital products? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Lydia and on this channel we talk about social media marketing for business and how to make more money online. If you're interested in those topics, make sure to click the subscribe button below. So how do you create those Lightroom presets, those famous presets pack that everybody gets for their Instagram feeds? How do you become a seller and make money with Lightroom presets as digital products? Let's see what the first thing you need to do is. First, choose where you want to create them. Do you want to create them in your Lightroom mobile app, on your tablet or iPad, or do you want to use the desktop paid version? Next, a very important thing you need to decide is your niche and who you're creating these for, because you cannot create Lightroom presets, a pack for everybody. If you want to create multiple packs in multiple niches, that is completely fine. But when you create a certain Lightroom presets pack, make sure to make it for a certain type of audience. And then choose some raw images that you have, unedited images or made by professional photographers that go really well with that niche. For example, you want to create a preset pack for a wedding or for weddings in general, for travel, for babies, for nurseries or anything else. Make sure to choose six photos of that kind with different lightings or 10 photos or 30, the same amount as the number of presets you want to create. Even so, keep in mind that every preset you create will need some adjustments in lighting made by the buyer. So you will do your best to create the best presets, but sometimes they will still need adjustments. And this is something you need to let know and to learn your audience and your clients how to do. These presets will obviously look a bit different if you apply them to photos that have been taken with a phone or if you apply them to professional DSLR images. Now let's start creating your presets. Start with one image and go through all the adjustments, lighting, color, tones, and everything else to determine how your preset will look. You can click and hold on the image to see the before and after. For all the other presets in the pack, my suggestion is to go with a similar tone. And for that to happen and for your presets to kind of look alike but be a bit different, my suggestion is to apply the first preset to the next image you're editing and then go from there to edit the image and edit the preset to be a different one because you will adjust it to the lighting of that image either way and you will make changes to it and no preset will ever look the same no matter how much you try to make them look the same. But applying that first preset first will ensure that your presets will have kind of the same color tone and kind of the same base applied to them. Once you're happy with all of your presets, make sure to go and save your preset by clicking develop, new preset and give it a name. When you're done creating the preset, Presets, you can try applying them to more images, go through them and see if you like the way they fall on different types of images. If you don't, try making different adjustments to them until you're happy with the result. Now it is time to export your presets and make them ready for sale. And to do that, you need to go to export and save as DNG. Exporting them and giving them to your clients as DNG files will ensure the fact that people will be able to download that image in their Lightroom app and save the preset themselves for them to apply it to different images. Once they are all downloaded, make sure to group them into a zip folder for your clients to have it easier for them to just download the folder and have all the presets in the pack there. Now you've created all your presets, but where do you sell them? You can sell professional Lightroom presets pack on website like Etsy, Creative Market, or you can promote them on your own website. As long as marketing is done correctly and you use social media for promotion and more, you will make sale and you will grow your business. But that will take building more than one preset and more than one preset pack and really marketing them and making them unique. Now, what are some tips to promote those presets no matter the platform you list them on for sale? The first thing is to use them as before and after for multiple images. So try and apply them to multiple similar images for the audience you're going for and share those on your website or in the products listing. On your website, you can use a landing page with all the before and after images, even use such a slider for people to see the before and after themselves. Choose to show how each preset is applied to multiple images and also give out all the information to your clients on how they will download and use the presets and give them an informational guide after they download those, after they purchase them on how to set them up on their computer or on their phones. Optimize your product listings with highly searched keywords and again, focus on a niche. For example, professional Lightroom presets for wedding images. 
This will help you get found by the right audience and again niched products sell a lot better. And lastly, don't forget to promote them on social media. You can create creative Instagram reels, TikToks and even posts and stories on your presets pack and how people can use them. You can create special social media accounts for your business and to promote that daily by staying active and posting consistently. So there you go, this is how you create and sell professional Lightroom presets for your audience that will help you make money with digital products. If you've enjoyed this video and it helped you out, make sure to give it a like and subscribe down below for more such content every single week. You can also follow me on Instagram and on TikTok at Lydia.IncomingSuccess for more content on growing online with social media and making money online. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.